Kids are starting to get out of school for the summer, and it's about that time you realize just how expensive this season can be. Consumer investigator Rachel DePampa finds out how to plan some summer activities on a budget in tonight's Watching Your Wallet. Summertime isn't cheap, especially if you have kids. That's why it's important to look at your overall budget for the next three months and plan out your costs per week. Cherry Dale, a financial coach with the Virginia Credit Union, says summer expenses are what we call variable expenses, meaning they are not a set expense that you are going to have to pay every single month. She says you can do small things to increase your income during that time to help you cover the extra costs. If you have kids, you probably have old clothes, used toys. Maybe it's time to sell some of that, go to a consignment store, get some extra income to add to your summer budget. If you're still looking for some summer camps, you may find some low cost and even free options from churches and nonprofits. Libraries are also a great place to look up free activities for your kids. If you have a child going to summer camp, make sure to find out what is provided or whether you need to budget for the cost of breakfast or lunch. Are there any activities you need to plan for? And Dale says, include your child in the discussions. Um, just having those conversations, I think, is really important at an early age. So the concept of actually paying for things and what you're getting out of it and what you need to be responsible for, you're starting that off early, and summer is a good time to do that. She says, if you help them understand the cost and value of things at an early age, really helps them learn important lessons for later in life. With this watch in your wallet, I'm Rachel DePampa.